Oh, you guys see that? That, hmm? That, you got, you guys see that? It is that time once again, a new set release, and it really feels like these last two have been pretty close to each other, even though it's been two months, actually. But welcome everyone, today we're opening up set two of Divines. Mugen Sokoku. I think the name of this one was like Illusionless Strife or something, was that what it was called? Yeah, Illusionless Strife. I wonder, is that, is that the name they're going to use in English too? But of course, it is the second booster set for the Divines anime series. And of course, we have Suo on the box here together with Blagmire, which kind of tells you that that's the main focus of the set. But of course, on the other side of the box, we do have the other two of the Fated Ones, which of course are Zorga, Nadir, as well as our beautiful Liel Amorta for Keter Sanctuary. So very, very exciting stuff. The set itself, of course, it has a very nice little hot pink uh, border around it, which is very nice. And you can see here the specifics. So 18 types of triple rares, 24 types of double rares, 24 types of rares, 56 types of commons, 80 types of extra and 16 types of extra parallels. That's what EXP stands for. So those are the Bang Dream cards that got reprinted as well as the new Bang Dream uh, MyGo criticals that they also added into this set too. We have one DSR, which of course is Hikari together with uh, Lia Lamorta. Three types of secrets, which are the three faded ones. Uh, 18 types of FFRs, which are all of the triples. 48 types of FRs, which is all the double rares and rares combined, and 42 of the silver rares, which is all the triples and double rares combined. So with that, that is all for the box, I think, all around it. That's all the details you get. And I have this beautiful Eva playmat that I got from MMK. She is one of the illustrators that does a lot of the art for the Bushiro China League. So this is like exclusive merch um, that you get if you play in the Chinese tournaments. Um, so she just moved here uh, to Japan, actually. And uh, I met up with her right before my birthday and she gifted me this, which is super, super nice. Um, I can actually show you while I'm at it. I've shown this on other videos before, but she also gives me some sleeves. So there's like the Eva ones, which are actually foil, and then these Buff Sagara ones, which are also really cool. So I think if your name is Ignidius, you probably like the Buff Sagara ones quite a lot. But also today, I, um, I don't particularly feel like I want anything like I don't have a super strong desire sensor. I think last time around I had a very strong desire sensor for specifically this Varga secret, which I ended up buying myself. I had a friend that pulled it and sold it to me for a very nice price. So I really, really wanted to own it. And of course, if I had to choose a secret that I really, really wanted from this set, it is definitely Lia La Morta. But I do really like her FFR and her DSR and her silver rare. So I'm not going too crazy here. But if you know me, you know that I uh, I quite like my angels. So if we can get blessed with a Lia La Morta, I'd be pretty happy, especially it comes out in the first box that's for sure also i am also well i have opened already a full case of this set on my twitch and then you can watch the opening of it on my youtube with highlights which i will publish at a later date i also opened the case for digimon tcg last week so um i've definitely been opening a lot of cases as of late but the highlights for that will be on my second channel so make sure you check that out over there so here's the pack art it, it is very nice this time it's like this hot pink is really cool i'm not i don't know how you guys feel about suo as a character i'm personally not super crazy about him but it does does look pretty nice and then of course on the back we have the same specifics from before too so it looks very very cool and honestly i'm a big fan of the hot pink i'm not gonna lie the hot pink is definitely a selling factor here but let's get into our first pack of destiny and we start off with the new dragon empire starter andora i really like this art because it's the kid you know the andora is the dragon and gurai is the the kid so he grows up and together with the dragon which is really really nice we have a rare already so there's actually the gragaon so this is the countercharger for divine skill cards in um so basically for Rezael and you know amorta maybe we'll get more in the future too and we have our first double rare as well which is the friendly broccoli that is the name of this card on call if you have a token unit you can have us one to draw one and he also gets plus 5k power and shield as long as you have a token unit on your rearguard circle so it's actually a very very good card and the name is definitely something that deserves some point as well so i'll, I'll give it that we'll put the double rares here next to eva we have an energy card let's see what it is on the back and it is our bold man masanori so there is actually two different hikaris in the set so you can get both the adult and uh young hikari there's a new lyrical ride line as well. I already posted my first impressions of the set. It is an hour long, but I do recommend checking it out. I do have timestamps in it. This is the new ride line for Branke, which is the Loto Bizer. And then we have the support for our lovely Cope Francis, which is also a very good card. But we have a total of 16 packs per box as usual. And so we're going to take things slow for the very first one. 
Um, we can try to put the first, the, the last two cards from the back onto the front. So we put the rare to the back here as much as possible. I guess another safe way to do it is like, uh, you don't, you don't get an energy card in every single pack. If you did, that'd be an easy way to like kind of uh, know where to look for the good cards. So this is the grade two of the ride line. We got the grade one earlier. This is a card supporting the Andorra ride line. This is a card that technically can support our new Keter ride line too. Oh, this is a really, really good uh, common order. So it's the bond between, is drag resonance is what it's called. So it's the bond of dragon and, and man. So it lets you give your Vanger the skill that when this stands, you give your front row plus 10k for the turn. So it really works well with like Overlord, Varga, all that kind of stuff. So good card to have a lot of copies of if you're playing those decks. More token support for Stoikea. And we have another rare, which is this time for heroes, even though it looks like a Wellstra card all things considered. And then this is the new ride line for uh, Zorga. So, so far, the first few packs, we just got a little broccoli. It's telling me to eat my vegetables, which uh, I guess is, you know, I do. I do eat my vegetables. I've been filming a vlog of this um, this release day. Not the most eventful one, but I thought I would release it. Um, and maybe it'll be maybe it'll be a channel member exclusive content. Who knows? But we have our deleter, the, the deleter card, basically, for our... Uh, Blagmire new ride line. So this guy lets you soul charge one if you have a Blagmire or like it's soul charge one when you place it and you can when you call it when you have a Blagmire Vanguard instead of soul charging one look at top two and then put up to two of them into your soul and if you didn't then you shuffle your deck so it's like selective soul charging which is nice and also at the end of turn if you use your divine skill this turn you can retire him to draw one and give your opponents uh, the skill that start of next turn they have to discard a card if they want to ride so it's actually a really really good card honestly and we also have a, you know, the rare ride line from the manga. So this is the Sky Ride manga. So this is the boss unit Vajira. So the grade three is all right, but it's the grade two and the one that are really, really good that you want to get a lot of copies of. So definitely look out for that. And we have a Suo energy card. So for the Suo fans, something to collect, I suppose. So far, my energy cards are only dudes, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> Peculiar, I might say. But uh, we can actually see. So here you see we have a... Hikari, so we can put these cards to the front, I believe. So Hikari, of course, is uh, this is the adult version. It's kind of cool that we see her her back. We don't normally see her back in the anime that much. So let's take a look. There's the Grade Two of the Grai Andura ride line. So again, there's the new one for Dragon Empire. Then we have ourselves the Generic Order for Dark States that lets you draw cards when you retire stuff. Uh, Soul Charger and Power Gainer for Lyrical. And then this is a Deer that kickboxes, which is pretty interesting. When placed from Drop, Energy Blast three to gain 15k, but it's 8k as a Grade Two, which is a little bit, you know, leave something to be desired. We have uh, Flagberg support, and oh, we have our first, well, second double rare. This one is also for Gurai Andora. So it draws cards, gets power, and all that kind of stuff. So basically what you would want in a supporting unit. So this is, of course, for the new Dragon Empire ride line. So no triple so far. We've been a um, few packs in now and still kind of just like looking for stuff here. I'll put the last two cards to the front. All right, so we have our... This is a generic, technically. This is a support for um, not Razel, but for Liel. Then we have, this is, um, so every ride line from the quick start that got one support card in the set that lets you recycle personas because that's one of the problems of this uh, deck. I called this um, AliExpress Paimon because I do think she looks like that. This is a really good card for Astroa. That's um, a rare, which is really nice. And oh, this I really like this one. So I'll put the starter aside, but this is support for the new lyrical ride line, but I really, really like the art. Her name is Rikaris. And she's drawn by um, Koyoi Mitsuki, uh, who is the artist behind the v spoke collab happening in the next set for one of the girls. But I really like the art. The colors are really, really nice. So big fan of this one. So cool double rare to get right off the bat. But again, we're only getting double rares. I want to see a triple rare already. And I hope we start getting some soon because uh, it's definitely... I'm not going to say testing my patience, but I am looking for one again. There's another common on the back. Let's Let's... Let's promote that to the front, too. Oh, this one looks really, really cool. Geshudardo. This is a support for Orphist, actually, but it's not very good. It's when he's called over a uh, Shadow Army token. He gets plus 15k power. So, Mr. SMT token, you could have done better. You could have done a little better. But we're seeing some duplicates already. Actually, a lot of duplicates. Okay, this is the new support for Vereno. It actually is a Vereno that lets you re recover two Blitz Orders from drop. And our first triple rare, finally is the support card for Liel, of course. So it's the 20k attacker as long as you have a copy of him in the bind zone, and also when he's bound from rear, you can solve us one to draw a card and give your Vanger plus 5k. So this is one of the triple rares, so it's kind of like the good attacker for the deck, which is pretty nice too, so we'll put that down here. First triple is pretty good. In terms of the ranking of the top three triple rares in this set, the number one, priciest one, is the uh, one that's technically a Unica support, but 
It actually is technically also generic. So that one's the most expensive. After that is the Brankate generic. And after that is Leah Lamorta herself. So those are like the top three priciest triple race to get. This is a really good, um, well, in my opinion, it's a pretty good generic lyrical order. Let's you rest the rear guard to look at top three and call one. So I think it's honestly pretty good. Like you can rest something that you don't really want on the board or like you don't plan to really use in, in a battle or something. So pretty good. This is, of course, one of the strong cards for Blackbire. So a 23k attacker that goes to soul. And when this card goes soul by an effect, you bind it to draw one. So even if you soul charge, it also works, which is really good. And we have our FFR for this box, which is also pretty nice. So this is one of the supports for Gandiva, actually. It's interesting how they made like the triple rare Gandiva and Eugene support, but then this one is is only Gandiva like you could have made both of them you know support both but they chose not to it does look pretty good with the FR border though so it's kind of nice how like the wings go over the border and on both sides so it's pretty good I like that moving forward though I am curious to see what else we got in here again um still very much gunning for that beautiful you know those beautiful SRs I'm a big fan of the silver rares I've been mentioning it on my streams quite a bunch but I do like them a lot. And this is what I was talking about, this ride line. So forget the second skill. It says if you have four more rear guards, you can show the Vajra from your ride deck um, face up and then gain a crit. But the second skill is when you ride over this, look at top seven for a grade two, add it to your hand. And if you ride Vajra, you look through your whole deck for a grade two. Even if, if, if it's a top seven search, it's still really, really good. Sorry, I'm like pushing my hands up and down so much. My camera's freaking out. But it's a really, really good card, even if it's just a top seven search. And the grade one of this ride line is also really, really good. So I hope we get to talk about it a bit later. We have here the Yu Yu Ria. So this is the double rare booster for Liel Amorta. She's a 13k booster behind anything as long as you have a Liel Vanguard. But if she boosts Liel herself, like the Vanguard Liel, then she is going to be a 15k booster that you can soul bust one to return a card from drop back to your deck and also give something plus 5k. So it's really, really good, actually. We're getting some good double rares here. And we have another double rare, huh? Two doubles in a row. That's interesting. So this is another um, Direful Doll support. Really good one. Let's you chuck a Direful Doll from your uh, drop to soul. And she gets plus 5k for every grade of that one. So it can be up to 15k. And then on hit, she also retires one. So it's honestly a really, really good card. So pretty pretty good double rare so far. Honestly, we're, we're hitting... I feel like we've hit basically every double rare already in the box. So at this point, I'm just waiting for the silver rares. And uh, well, rares, hopefully plural. But might be just one. And triple rares, of course. So got a little... Robo in the snow. He's a um, pretty good card. Energy when he boosts energy blast two and give the unit boosted plus 5k for the turn. So it's really good in restanding decks. So I could see it used. We have the great two ride line for Liel. Going to be a very important card. And then we have the rare that is a 23k attacker in Liel. Kind of wish had another effect, much like the uh, dragon in Varga, but unfortunately it doesn't. And then what's our second card? It is also a lyrical card. So this is the support for the Flamgram deck, the new one. And then we have a couple more comments. So we also have the new Zorga ride line among them, but I really don't think it's that good. I do feel like the old Zorga ride line was better. And we haven't seen too many energy cards as of late. So we've been seeing a bit less here. So let's take a look. Here's our last card. It's a common. We'll put it to the front. Here's our last card to common. It is a triple, finally. All right, let's go. We have the order that gives 5K to the things you call from drop. This is the grade one ride line for Liel. Then the grade two ride line for Blackmire. Really, really pretty Divine Sister, of course. Also works with Liel when placed from deck, she gains 15k. So works really well with Liel, actually. We like that. Grade zero for the Lotobizer. This is actual Lotobizer. So they all kind of like, he just evolves as he goes, but he's really cool. Oh, we have a double into a triple. This is the new um, mini <laughs> mini um, Eldo Breath, people are calling him. So when you call him Solbass 2 and do one of the following, the first one searches your deck for a set order with the same name as one of the cards in your order zone, adds it to your hand. The second effect lets you choose a set order in your order zone, and then if you have three or more of them on the field already, he countercharges one. So if you want more countercharge on top of, um, you know, Brachio, you can, not Brachio, sorry, Bobo Mine, then you can run this card, which is pretty good. And we also have the very nice triple rare for Blangmire. So this is the really strong support card. Drawn by Daisuke Izuka. When you call him, you CB1, look at top three, and then put any number to soul. And if you put one or more, you draw one. So it's a really good use of CB, like, Gets you soul, gets you card draw, we like that a lot. And when he attacks, if he bangs a Blangmire and his crit, his crit, his own crit is one or less, you can energy blast three to give him an extra crit in 5k. So he only gains that extra crit in 5k for the battle, but it's still really strong because of the fact that you can restand this. And then if you do, you can use that skill again. So it does eat into your energy quite a lot, but it's not the end of the world because at the end of the day, when you're using this, you're going for the kill anyway. So you don't really mind if you run out of energy, to be honest, in my opinion. So Let's take a look again. Here's our last card. A common? It is. Okay. I think... All right. We have the, the young Hikari energy card here as well. So 
Let me actually try to get them the other one out here. So this is a comparison. So funnily enough, the, the young one is going first and the old one is going second. So it's kind of fitting, you know, because of course one of them shows up first, the other one shows up second, one of them is younger, the other one's older. We have um, the Marilyn support, very nice art actually. Then we have the grade one of the new ride line. We have the grade zero of the of the Liel ride line. This is a support for Cristiano. So we're getting all those like support cards here. This is one of Varga's supports. It's a crow with a bunch of, um, I don't know, infused beads. It retires an opponent's rear guard when he's retired by your Varga effect. So that means that normally Varga doesn't touch the back row, but with this you can. So it could be pretty good. And we got another triple rare finally. This is going to be the Zorga support card. People are kind of questioning if this is good or not, because the second skill is pretty good. At the start of battle phase, he pops himself out of drop if you've Alka Magic this turn. And if your opponent's Vanguard's on grade 3 or greater, he gets a crit. But that's kind of the problem is that this only works if you go second for turn 3. And then from turn 4 onwards, of course, it does work. But when he places himself on re Rear, or if you place him on rear by from your hand too, you can energy blast four, which is pretty expensive, in order to choose any normal order from your drop and bind it, which is nice. It sets up for you know his own skill where he gets plus 5k for every different card in your bind zone, every different order in your bind zone. Sorry, so he is pretty good. I think you'll still play him at like one or two copies, maybe three, but I kind of doubt him being maxed out because at the end of the day, roaming prison dragon already kind of like gets the job done pretty well. So, oh, you guys see that? That, hmm? That, you got, you guys see that? You, you guys see that? You guys see that? Oh my. Oh no. Hold up. You, you guys see that, right? You guys see that? You got, I checked for a common, do, oh my, I'm, I'm scared. Oh my god, this is only the first box of the case. This is only the first box of the case. Oh my god, all right. When this, okay, this is this is a card. This is a, a paralyzer. This is support for um, Zeraf Sael. This is a um, soul maker and card drawer. This is an order. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty good order that uh, allows you to retire your opponent's rears and uh, give plus 10k to, the, to your vanguard. Okay, we have a triple rare. We have a triple rare. There's something behind this, but we do have Gryandra. This is the new Dragon Empire ride line. I really like the art. I will try using him. I'm not ready for this. Sorry. I want to leave this for last. I am I generally don't want to look at it yet. <laughs> I can't. I need to prepare my heart. This is too much. We're leaving that for last. We're leaving that for last. We still have a few packs. There's like maybe five, four or five packs left. We're leaving that for last. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Dude. There was a lot of there's some bright colors in there, dude. There were some bright colors in there. Um it, it could be anything. It could be anything. Maybe it's just a bang dream critical. There's bang dream criticals in this set, by the way. Oh, this 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 blitz order is insane. So when uh you can play this for CB1 and choose the attack unit, give it plus 10k for the battle, and then give your Vanguard the skill that every time your opponent's unit stands or your opponent's front row rear guard is placed, or uh yeah, rear guard is placed your Vanguard gets plus 5k, which is really, really good. It's a like, really good defensive play that like lets you stack defensive power in your opponent's turn. Another good Blitz order for decks like Eva and Archite that can be like a 30k shield. It gets a uh, plus 10k shield for every rested set order you have, so it's honestly pretty good. Then we have the bird that we got in FR. And oh, there we go. No, see, that that is a Bang Dream trigger. Oh, here we go. There's a Vajra upgrade zero. But the Bang Dream triggers are all reprinted, and even the sign ones are also reprinted, which is really, really nice. So... This is cool. We have Paleo from Reza Suilen. I am a Bang Dream fan, although I haven't really been playing too much as of late, but I do like Bang Dream a lot. My favorite is Tomoe from Afterglow. Oh my god, I... I'm scared. I'm scared, chat. I'm scared. I'm not even streaming. Why am I saying chat? But I'm, I'm scared, dude. What is that on the back? What is that on the back? Oh my god. All right, there's another comment here. There's another comment. Let's put this, let's put this behind. All right, we have the starter for Blackmire. I quite like the starter. It's kind of cool. It, it almost feels kind of European, the, the, that background. This card really is cool. The Ashturm Countercharger, the art is like pretty crazy. It's got like the like stained glass freaking um, dragon wings, which is pretty cool. Vajra's Grade 1, this card is insanely good. When you would ride from uh, from the ride deck, instead of ditching one, you soul blast one. So it's like, it's so good. It's so good. You just soul blast the Grade 0, and then after that, you go into the Grade 2. Grade 2 finds you a Grade 2. It's like, it's fantastic. The Flamgram uh, Grade 0. So this one, of course, is the one that you ride into, which is pretty cool. We have Gundam Extreme Versus Maxi Boost On, now available at your local arcade. Very good card. And oh, we have a triple rare. It is the support for Chris Rain. And it's a really, really good card because it's basically a Grade 2 Yuika. I think most people haven't realized that yet because this card is really cheap right now. And I think most people figure out that this is a Yuika. Um, 
I'm, I'm scared for what's gonna happen. Okay, this is our technically fifth triple rare because there's a triple rare, of course, down here that we put face down, but we only have two packs left, so let's just go through them. We haven't had any silver rares yet, so I'm kind of curious. Um, I feel like we should have at least one, right? I think we're promised to have at least one. So let's keep on going through it. Uh, we have new dolls. There's some good new dolls on top of the double rare that we had. We have this girl. She's pretty okay. Energy blast four to retire an opponent's rear guard. And um, if you could and get 5k, and if you couldn't, she soul charges too, which is pretty good. Oh, there we go. There's our silver rare. It is the guy. It is the Zorga support. Actually, looks pretty cool. It feels like the silver rare actually adds more to it. So quick comparison for the triple and the silver. So again, you lose the text box. And the other things about silver rares is that you have textured, uh, grade, intercept, shield, power, name, all that stuff is all textured. So it looks really, really cool, honestly. I think I'll put this down so you can see this a bit better. So especially if I take this angle, you can really, really see it. I'm going to make a short kind of showing you silver rares in more detail, but I honestly really like the texture on the bottom here. So the art itself is not textured, unlike SPs, but the surrounding areas are, which I think is pretty cool. So. Pretty cool. Good silver rare. And last pack, before we take a look at that crazy whatever that is, I don't I don't even know if it is anything good. Maybe it's just like, um, maybe I'm just mistaken about something. So I think what we'll do is I will put it on the back of this. I'll put it on the back of this. Actually, I can put just the one card, I think, right? Oh no, there was another one. What the hell? There was three cards? Maybe I am bugging. I don't know anymore, dude. I, I'm scared, mom. <laughs> Pick me up, I'm scared. All right. There's a lot of commons we've seen already. The Vajra Grade Zero is also very cool. This Blitz Order is great. This is a girl with wings. This is a uh, robot. This is the prison support. It's actually really, really good. Soul Boss 1 to imprison something. And then if you didn't, get plus 10k, which is honestly pretty good. We have our second FR, so we still get a second FR for the box. This is like that interesting lyrical card. I really like how the graffiti works with the lyrical FR border, though. They actually, and like the way the, the graffiti shines is also very nice. So it works well with the art. All right, so again, we've seen this guy. We've already seen this. We already know this triple rare was out. <sighs> There's still another card. There's a common. There was a common. There was a common hiding something behind it. What is this final card? Let's find out. Three, two, one. Oh my god, I got bamboozled. It was just... <laughs> <laughs> it was the white border at the bottom. I was like, no way, it's a Liel secret. <laughs> it was just a freaking manga panel comment. Are you serious? I nearly got a heart attack over a freaking manga panel. Damn, you can't you can't even trust your own, bro. You can't even trust your own. Oh, there was definitely part of me that was like, yes, I'll just get the secret out the way. Let's go. But it was not a secret. It was a manga panel. This box is still pretty good, though. We got one, two, three, four, five triple rares, which is quite a lot for a box. Then we got one, two, three, four, five, six different uh, double rares. One FR that's a double rare and one that's a rare. We got the Paleo Critical Trigger from Razor Suilin and also a silver rare that was a triple rare. So basically six triples in a box, which is pretty good. Uh, I can't believe I got caught by a manga panel, bro. This is this card is going to haunt me as I open this case. I already know. Also, for those curious about the, uh, the the energy cards, we got these four, and I think it's only these four that are available anyway. So anyway, that has been the set two box opening. Hope you enjoyed me getting got by a freaking common. <laughs> but there'll be more, of course, coming up as I open my case and highlight everything on YouTube. And for those of you that watch live on Twitch, I greatly appreciate you too. But with that, if you enjoyed Enjoy this video give it a like and if you haven't really please do subscribe check me out on all my socials down below second channel twitch all that stuff you want to support the channel become a youtube channel member it really helps the channel and you get secret bonus content too but with that that is going to be it for me today thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye bye